believe it or not, I, you're the third doctor, I think, that I've interviewed so far that grew up a in a small town <laughs> farm in yeah. Pennsylvania. Yeah, really? So <laughs> maybe there's something there to that. I don't know. But uh, Yeah, so I grew up on a farm in Pennsylvania, out uh -huh. in the mountains, the uh, biggest town we're close to, or actually biggest city we're close to is Pottsville, which has maybe about 10,000 people. But where I grew up, the town itself probably has a couple hundred people, and uh, it's in the Appalachian Mountains, and the farm is still in our family. And, you know, when I went to college, actually, my intent was not to go into medicine. I had a grandfather who was a physician sure. uh, and was very much a role model, but when I started college, I started actually in ag business, and I was sent to college to learn ag business and come back and run our family farm. Um, and as I studied, I became more interested in the sciences, so I switched from ag business to agronomy and then finally into science. And uh, when I became interested in the science and thought about what I might do because of my grandfather's influence, um, I started to gravitate toward medicine. And so today, you're an internationally recognized expert in the treatment of uh, you know pancreatic cancers. Yeah. And uh, pancreatic surgery in general. Yeah. Uh, how did you first get involved uh, in the field? You know, I don't know the exact time when I decided I wanted to be, uh, uh, you know, in the field of pancreatic cancer, um, but I gravitated toward that, for, I think, for a couple reasons. The first reason is that, um, you know, if you think of all of the major cancer types, the survival is so poor for mm -hmm. pancreatic cancer that if you want to make a difference in a field or if you want to make a difference in improving the outcome of patients, it's one area that it could be done. And then the second thing as a surgeon, um, I always like the more technically challenging in, uh, operations and so um, pancreatic surgery is, is that type of field and so those two things fell together nicely. Uh, there's minimally invasive approaches, so you've heard of having your gallbladder removed laparoscopic, laparoscopic cholecystectomy, that has become standard. You know, Years ago, you had a big incision, did a small operation on the mm -hmm. inside and then all of the healing was on the outside. For these big pancreas operations, it's still a huge operation on the inside, but to be able to take away the wound healing complications and the pain associated with that is improving quality of life. And so um, our group along, really in the country, uh, people have moved and tried to do uh, minimally invasive approaches. Now, it's really only at large institutions like ours where we sure. have a high volume um, that we can push the envelope and do this. The problem is, as we know, that in 80% of the patients, they'll come back. And they come back because of systemic disease, residual micrometastatic disease. And that, as surgeons and as clinicians in pancreatic cancer, that's the problem that we need to solve. Um, our immune system has adapted to take care of uh, all kinds of insults on the body. And so being able to leverage uh, that sort of body's own precision approach against the tumor is uh, is something that I think has a lot of promise in pancreatic cancer as it does in many other tumors. Although in theory it should work, um, there's many barriers in pancreatic cancer that right now it's not really an effective therapy, but I think that those barriers are not insurmountable. And as we make incremental improvements and understand the interaction of the immune system with the pancreatic cancer, that ultimately that will be the future. And I think that as we look back 10 or 15 years from now, um, that we finally will see um, uh, an improvement in the disease-specific survival. And I think it will come because of immunotherapy. I also think it will come because of a precision approach and using the right chemotherapy for the person's individual tumor. Dr. Wolfgang, thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That was a closer look. Thank you.